romancer roof through the trees I see a salty message written in the east My name's Ramesh Gunasekara. I'm a novelist. Um, I've written several, several novels. Um, a couple of books translated into Italian. One is this one, which in English is Reef. And my most recent book is The Match, which is this one, uh, published in England. Uh, I've been writing for a long time. I started writing, I suppose, when I was a teenager. Um, and I was interested in uh, having fun with words, enjoying narrative, enjoying stories. Um, and I enjoyed reading and I wanted to make the same sort of thing so that other people can enjoy it. Uh, so I've been writing for a long time. I wrote poetry, short stories, and now I write novels. That's a big, big question where the words can stop wars. People have been asking that question for hundreds of years. Um, very, very famously, uh, very famous poets have said, said that uh, a word is not the same as a bullet. Uh, but I think words can change the way we think about the world. And when we change the way we think about the world, then the world changes. Um, and in that sense, I think uh, enormous things can change as a result of the way you use words. Um, and there's also an aspect where if your language becomes brutalized, uh, if you're careless with your language, if you do violence to your language, then perhaps you do the same to the world as well. So I have a belief maybe or a hope that the opposite is true. If you take care with your language, if you take care with your words, maybe you can improve the world. I think the conflict has been very serious and damaging um, for a very long time. Um, but we have to think of uh, what's happened in other parts of the world where there have been uh, equally damaging, very serious conflicts. Uh, and people have recovered, people have managed to build a new world. Uh, you only have to think of where we are now. Um, and if you think back to maybe, what is it, 1940s, isn't, isn't that long ago. Um, and if you imagine what people were thinking at that time, it would have been impossible to imagine uh, a peaceful coexistence in Europe. Um, think of South Africa, you think of many parts of the world where, where the future seemed very bleak and very difficult, and yet it can be done. Uh, and I think it's the same with Sri Lanka. Things can, can, be made, can be made better. I think there are some very serious, difficult challenges ahead still but I hope it will, it will be possible. With, with writers, there's no prescription as to what they should do. Um, there are no real obligations you can ask of a writer, of a uh, writer of imaginative writing, of fiction. Um, writers have to be free, uh, and I think that is the most important aspect of it. Uh, and for a writer, there's no. Uh, there are certain obligations as a citizen, as a person, as a human being. But for your writing, your obligations are to do with the writing itself. Uh, and there, I think one can only hope that there are circumstances that don't um, cripple the writer, uh, and the writer is able to to explore, uh, to respond. Um, and to help every, all of us, in a sense, increase our understanding. In my writing, um, it's difficult to explain what I intended to do. What I, what I always want to do with a book is to make 
um, make an object that is absorbing, that is interesting, and that means something. Um, quite often I might set out to write a story uh, set in one place and it ends up being set somewhere else. Uh, my first books, uh, like, uh, like Reef, for example, um, I don't think when I started it, I didn't intend it to be a description of Sri Lanka. Uh, it was a description of characters, of people, uh, and those grew into a place which happens to correspond to Sri Lanka of the 1970s, uh, 60s and 70s. Uh, and I think with fiction, with novels, it's an exploration of the world, it's a making of the world. Um, and sometimes I like you know, I will use my experience of what I've seen. Sometimes I don't.